Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Savior and SC Fu here on Scrap Station. Savior, and I believe this is the actual Savior who plays StarCraft Brood War. Um, no way for me to 100% be sure. I can take a look at the APMs. The APMs are in the in the what 300 range, so it could be the real Savior against SC Fu. I believe this was a clan battle between um, the Fu clan and whatever clan Savior is on. I haven't been able to do as much research recently as life has been getting in the way of a little bit of my StarCraft shoutcasting and trying to improve as well. We have Savior spawning at the 3 o'clock position on Scrap Station as the Red Zerg player. Meanwhile, we have SC spawning as the Purple Terran player over here at the 12 o'clock position. So this is going to be Terran versus Zerg here on Scrap Station. Scrap Station, um, one of those maps that e even though there is a relatively close spawning distance in terms of how the Brood or the Overlord will be able to make its way into this position here, the walking distance is actually quite far so the units need to walk all the way down this ramp come past this Elmaga watchtower and then try to come all the way back into this position here it usually takes about 25 to 30 game seconds in order to really be able to traverse that distance and, and now we see SCV, SCV Fu going for a refinery before a barracks <coughs> excuse me, a refinery for, before a barracks. So this is going to be an interesting build as the Overlord now going to quickly come into this position here and now see the barracks being laid down. We do see that there was an extractor now being laid down and also a spawning pool. So Savior not opening up with an early spawn with an early hatchery instead going for that spawning pool will be able to perhaps get some Zerglings into this base relatively quickly. However, SC Fu will be able to get a factory right after this barracks is done. He should have just the right amount of gas. If he delays his production on his orbital command, he should be able to get that factory and then perhaps be able to train up at least one Hellion as those Zerglings arrive in his base. So it's really going to come all down to timing and whether or not SC Fu is really going to be able to hold off any Zerglings. Taking a look in the base of Savior. Savior currently sitting on only one larva, so it does not look like he's going to be trying to go for any heavy harassment with Zerglings. And there is two larvae out now he should be able to train up a queen four zerglings and then two additional zerglings in just a moment i think that is going to be the case there we go um we now have what four zerglings being trained up one queen and then another uh, what I believe another larva should be popping out in just a moment. There we go. Now training up into a Zergling as well. So early Zerglings into the base. We do have one Marine now trying to shoot down this Overlord. Overlord down to 159 hit points. It may get shot down there. However, we now finally see this SCV coming in. The SCV will be able to see um, these Zerglings come into the base. And now will he be able to finish off this wall in just in time? Perhaps getting the Supply Depot in this position. And then train, being able to hold off a lot of those units. The factory will not be. It will probably be completed by this time. But no Hellions will be out. That one overlord was able to escape there as those what f what four or five zerglings now make their way out one zergling am um, able to get off some harassment and now the queen sitting back over here we do see two now drones being trained up by savior so savior now going more into an economic switch and we need to see a supply depot here otherwise this is going to be a very very oh no going going for a starport instead so it's going to be a one 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 build and now these marines now trying to shoot down this overlord overlord down to 129 hit points however it will be able to escape and now back over here, we now see another SCV able to pull off one of those Zerglings. And it looks as though these Marines and these and these Factory will be able to hold off some of these units here. We have one Marine trying to do the Moonwalk, unable to really get any, any real distance there, as we now have a Tech Lob being placed down. So SC Fu going for perhaps a Banshee Harassment. Will he be able to lift off his, bear, his starport and do that swap? It will be the critical question. Back into this base over here, we now see a second queen being trained. So with two queens, Savior should be able to hold off any Banshee harassments. We now see that swap come in. In comes that swap. Zerglings unable to really do anything there. Just mistiming just a moment. The Zerglings just got that metabolic boost. If it had tried to leave a moment sooner, it may have been able to run by and then perhaps get a surround on some of these Marines and then perhaps try to take them down. However, the sheer numbers is just way too much. Zerglings now seeing out that, that front door will not be able to put any additional pressure in. Back into the base here, we now had SCFU getting a second starport with that tech lab. So he will be able to start double producing Banshees. And with double Banshees, that harassment will be obviously twice as effective, especially Especially since we are now finally getting a third queen being trained up by Savior. So Savior needs to get those spore colonies down. We see that the evolution chamber has been placed down. But will it be enough? And looking at these queens, there are no queens that, or oh, sorry, there are currently three queens, but none of them have enough energy in order to get any transfusions off. They are now also trying to spread creep across the map, enabling them to perhaps um, catch up within that walking distance and be able to catch up to that Banshee. Banshee has... A pretty decent move speed at 2.75 compared to the rest of these units. I believe that's a little bit slower than... I, I believe that's 2.5 movement on those queens. 
So Banshee now trying to come in, maybe able to get off one, perhaps two kills. But I do not believe it will be able to deal, get that much damage there. So getting two quick kills, and now those queens trying to make their way in. We do have that spore crawler nearing completion. That spore crawler may be able to uproot, come into that position here, and then those banshees will have a very difficult time. Savior having a lot of overlords in the air, offering a lot of of scouting information and site information. Foo, or sorry, SC Foo now getting up to three banshees, maybe able to get up to four banshees in just a moment. And with four banshees it will be able to sh and win out on sheer numbers against savior as long as he doesn't transfusion however savior does have enough energy to perhaps get and i believe three transfusions off and with three transfusions that's going to be a lot of damage to, to try to get rehealed so one of those queens or those queens able to focus fire and get a lot of damage onto that banshee banshee down to 41 hit points already and now it does not look like this early investment into um, Banshees is going to be all that successful. We should be seeing a tech in the tier 2 now. So the tech in the tier 2 here. And if Savior goes into a Spire, he will be able to get a lot of damage dealt. And back over here, we now see that Spire by Savior. So Savior teching into Mutalis most likely. Mutalis will be our perfect counter to those Banshees. As Mutalis have a much, much faster movement speed, also able to attack ground and air. Banshee's now trying to come in once more. Will it be able to get any significant damage across? Now trying to come in, and are we going to get a transfusion? No transfusion. So Queen's now trying to and push back once again. Are we going to get a transfusion? Yes, one transfusion there. Are we going to get another transfusion? No. No additional transfusion. The Spire has nearly, um, nearly up, no, only a third of the way up so far. The one Spore Crawler not going to be enough to hold off any of these attacks here. As these Banshees are just coming in and dealing so much damage. There is one queen in the back, however, that queen is all by its lonesome self and who will take a lot of damage. The queen now trying to come back in, a root crawler, a spore crawler now trying to come in. However, the hatchery, the main hatchery, may get taken down. No transfusion. The spore crawler now finally rooted in position. And now we finally see Savior only able to mine off of one location here. We do see one spore crawler here. Will that spore crawler have enough range to deal damage across any of those any of these banshees here we should see another queen training up yeah another queen training up here and now we need to get some transfusions off that spore crawler in a very very bad position and that's taking a lot of damage here uh, however we are going to get a lot of mutilus now now seven mutilus in the now currently in those cocoons will be hatching in just a moment but savior may be out of minerals this is going to be very very bad indeed as savior does not have another hatchery in play he needs to perhaps cancel two of those mutilus in order to be able to build up another hatchery and if he does not realize this continuing to train up more mutilus is going to be very bad as this one hatchery is now very very low on hit points canceling it there however canceling it means that he is completely out of minerals oh he did cancel one of those mutilus so one Mutalus has been cancelled, Spawning Pool taking a lot of damage, and the rest of these Banshees will be cleaned up in just a moment. There we go, all those Banshees are cleaned up, however the Spawning Pool, very very low on hit points and will continue to bleed. Will these Mutalus be able to get this game back under the control of Savior is the key question. There are some Missile Turrets down, so those Missile Turrets trying to lock onto that Mutalus, however the Mutalus backing off just at the right time, and now we see this hatchery down here. There are Vikings currently being trained, a lot of drones sitting idle, and the Spire may be in danger of taking a lot of damage as well. We do have Zerglings sitting over here at the Natural Expansion. And now SC Fu just currently sitting in his base, and this is not going to be looking good at all for SC and SC Fu. SC Fu needs to figure out a way to expand. He needs to get more Vikings, perhaps get some medevacs, use these Marines, get Stim Pack and the Combat Shield. As this Orbital Canal Command now tries to move out into this location, it will quickly get stopped. Marines will need to try to come out and, and deal with these Zerglings, or perhaps those Banshees will deal with those Zerglings as these Queens now return home. Oh, sorry, the Mutalists now return home. Evolution Chamber down over here. We now see a Spore Crawler being very, very smart, trying to decide and reroute itself back on Creep. We do have a couple of Vikings over here. Zerglings now be able to perhaps surround and get some damage. No, no real kills on any of those Marines there. As SC Fu now establishing his natural expansion, you can see that the main base is starting to get mined out. Um, some of those mineral patches down to 225 resources, so very, very low indeed. Back over here, the Mutalists need to figure out what exactly they're going to try to do. We do have another spawning pool trying to come into play. So the spawning pool down over here and now constantly just mining off of this one hatchery. The Spire did not take any serious damage there. Overlords just trying to offer a little bit more protection as there are now a fleet of Vikings in the air. Five Vikings and with the cover ember, the protection of those missile turrets, and it's looking like Savior will be forced to GG at this time, or and unless he's able to pull off some amazing comeback with some amazing Mutalist Micro, Savior needs to get Queens perhaps, and using those Queens get a lot of energy 
onto those M queens in order to start transfusing or start using transfusion and keep all of these mutilists up in the air. A lot of these drones are now doing some long distance gas mining. So I'm not quite sure why he would even long distance gas mine. I guess he's beyond saturation. Yeah, beyond saturation at the natural expansion. So I guess some gas is better than uh, no additional minerals at all as this hatchery now being placed down over here. We now have a fleet of Vikings and medevacs in the air moving out. Marines have that stim pack. The combat shield now being researched as well as now Fu or SC Fu now making a way for the killing blow. Zergling's activating that um, um Zergling's activating that Zonaga watchtower and Savior realizing that the game is over says WW, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I guess that's cry, cry, wah, wah. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, Savior completely losing to that Banshee harassment. I had thought that Savior with very, very strong Queen Micro would have been able to hold off the Banshees. However, um, it looked like the Queens were stopped, were, were no longer being produced as quickly as those Banshees, and he did not get the necessary transfusions off in order to try to uh, soak up some of that damage because he didn't get enough um, transfusions off those queens were easily picked apart and then with only one spore crawler trying to protect the main base here the main hatchery was taken down fairly quickly the layer was down over here so the additional hit points for the layer was at the natural expansion and even two that was taken down as well thanks for watching thanks for listening um stay tuned for another game between savior and sc foo